Major airlines are adding new international routes, providing more opportunities to get out of the country for a bit. So CBS News senior travel advisor Peter Greenberg is here to discuss with us how we can take advantage of some of these new routes and get some good deals. So, Peter, I presume that they're adding new routes because the demand is there. We know that it's a lot cheaper for Americans to travel now because the American dollar is so strong uh, when you're heading overseas. Um, but could these new routes then maybe ease the congestion, ease the ongoing issues with delays and cancellations at airports? Well, what you're seeing is that the routes that the airlines are choosing are going to airports that are not congested at all. Mm. They don't have the kind of traffic, and that really helps out a lot. Uh, you'll see De Delta Airlines has announced new route from Atlanta to Cape Town, uh, to, from Los Angeles to Tahiti. Uh, American Airlines has come in with a JFK to Doha flight in Qatar, and uh, an interesting one, Seattle to Bangalore. But the real interesting story here is what United Airlines is doing. They've doubled and tripled down on their transatlantic routes. They're announcing service from Newark to Nice, Washington, D.C. To, to Amman, Jordan. They're already flying that flight as they are the, the Nice flight to the Azores, to Bergen, Norway, to, to Majorca, to Tenerife. In fact, United right now becomes the largest transatlantic carrier ever, more than British Airways, Delta, and Lufthansa combined. So they're deciding that, you know, with Americans during the pandemic looking for out-of-the-way places, not primary destinations, but secondary and tertiary destinations where the social distancing might be baked in, not to mention, as you just said, the power of the dollar against the euro. This is the time to do it, and they're flying it. Well, the Azores sounds mighty fine right about now, but what about the prices? Will I be able to afford to travel? Well, as with every introductory route, the airlines are offering discounts to get you to go. Uh, right now, we're going into the fourth quarter, which is not traditionally a high season, which means the airfares will be depressed uh, until we get to next spring. So if you're a smart traveler, jump on those now. And, and of course, you can book them now through next May at a reasonable price. After May, of course, we're getting back to the high season. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I mentioned how strong the American dollar is and how it's going to go much further overseas now. But you want to get sort of the most bang for that buck. How can travelers use this to their advantage? Well, it's not about the airfares and it's not about hotel rates, which can be adjusted. It's about basic goods and services, what the locals are paying for anything from a taxi ride to a tube of toothpaste to a night out at a restaurant. It's a remarkable difference now when the, when the dollar's on a par with the euro and in other currencies like, like South Africa, like Argentina, and like Turkey, where they've devalued the lira so much. Guess what? If you travel today to Turkey, your trip will cost you on average 38% less than it would have a year ago. It's, that sounds fantastic. Um, are there definitely places maybe you should avoid because your money's just not going to go that far? Well, right now, we are really in an unprecedented situation where the dollar is strong against many foreign currencies, the strongest position it's been in 20 years. So this is really a buyer's market for travelers. All right. I'm, uh, I'm about to send my email out. Days that I need off, Peter. Thank you very much. You got it.